Yo, yo, what is good, Cats Crew? It's your boy, Cads. But another action, another review, and another possible unpopular opinion. Good morning, guys. Hope you're all doing well today. Yes, it's good to see your face. Uh, as requested, a topless video. You guys have requested that. I don't know why you guys requested that, but you did. Uh, anywho, um, we've got this is something a bit different. We got this is an interview, basically. Uh, we had a, I had a really good response from my last Man of Skin interview. Um, as I suppose, when you're a fan of a group, you like to see them you know, uh, in, in interviews and things like that because you get to see their opinions and their thoughts as well. Because when you, I don't know what it is, it's something about, isn't it? It's like when you're a fan of a certain group or um, artists, seeing them out of their like zone of concerts or videos, it's, you just, you're interested to see how they talk, how they respond, what they like, what they think like, you know what I mean? It's one of those, isn't it? I think, I guess it's just being a fan, I guess. That's just purely, I'm going to put it down to just being a, a fan. I don't think there's any other thing you can say about it apart from that. Um, but, um, which is what we all are of Maniskin. So, uh, this is a interview with Maniskin. We're excited about being favourites to win the Eurovision, right? Now, this is, bef uh, this was, I assume, before they won. Which is really cool because, um, well, I assume it's before. I don't know if it's before or after, maybe, but it says we are excited about being the favourites to win. So, they're talking past tense before, I assume now. So, which is exciting because I haven't, obviously, I've, I discovered them, get my words out now, sorry. I discovered them from the Eurovision. So, I have, so to see this interview before is going to be a bit more, it's going to be uh, insightful, to say the least, and probably a bit entertaining because these guys have got great personalities. So, Anyway, let's get into it. <laughs> Blabbering on. If you need to shout out, guys, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. What else do I say? Oh, yeah. Go follow me on Instagram and also leave your next reaction in the comment section below. God, I forget. I think it's the heat. It's making me forget shit. Um, by the way, guys, happy Wednesday. Love you all. It's great to see you. Let's go. Right. We have got Pentagon Do or Not official music video. This was requested by one of you guys. Guys, are the new favorites to win your vision 2021? Are you excited? Yeah. Absolutely. Well, yeah. yeah, yeah. We Very excited. We tried to not think about it, but actually we were really excited. Yeah. Hey, guys, guys. How did the name come up? Um, the we name come up. Name. Yeah. <laughs> because of like meetings. just when we started <laughs> playing together, um, we had to participate like in a musical like uh, Contest, competition, yeah. and we needed a name because we didn't have a name yet. So okay. we couldn't find any name we liked in Italian. So since I'm half Danish, they hey, told me. Hey, hey, Victoria's got that husky voice as well. You know, she's got a bit of that that husk. I wonder if any of the, I wonder if they, the other groups have uh, have like singing abilities. You know, maybe obviously not to be the main singer, but I wonder if any of, I feel like Victoria could sing, you know, I actually feel like she can say, she could sing with that voice just by listening to it, maybe I'm wrong, but um, I do feel that. Just say some random cool names in Danish, and I said Moneskin, and then they were like, oh cool, okay, let's keep it, then maybe we will change it in the future, but then we want like the competition, so we Moneskin. thought it was like Moneskin a lucky is. name. And we Not Moneskin, it Moneskin. Then. And you would probably say that it's it was a coincidence that it was Moneskin, it could have been any other Danish name, right? Yeah. 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 But the thing is, That's cool. I did some research. I like that. There is a I like Danish that. song. <laughs> I like that uh, where they said it could have been any other name, but it was Moneskin because, in a way, it's such a like a sentimental value towards the name. Do you know what I mean? It was something that they, they just needed to pick at the time. But it worked out, and now they're known all across the world as Monoskin. Um, I don't know. Does it just mean? Does anybody else feel like that's there's kind of like a nice sort of beauty in a sense to that? Because it's it's not like they didn't think of it for ages. It was so planned out. Like one of my phrases as well. Some of the some of the most uh, some of the best days out I've had, or best things I've done, are always the ones that. This is a quite a common uh, uh, quite a common uh, quote. Is that the best nights are the ones that weren't planned. So this, I think it rolls over to the title here, doesn't it, a little bit? Dancing Moneskin! Dancing Moneskin! It wasn't that one, but it was, actually, it was actually another one, but I, I could have taken that one as well. <laughs> 
<laughs> Back in 1979, there was a song called See You Need You Do, See Venice and Die. Okay. And that song is about a girl going to Italy, to Venice, to meet his, her lover, whatever, Luigi. And let me, <laughs> let me play a little for okay. you. Okay. Okay. Yeah. This is me. Uh, yes! Very iconic. Yeah. Mon skin! So good. skin. So Sounds good, good. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like most iconic word in there. <laughs> <laughs> Who are your musical influences? For me, you are taken out of the 80s punk rock era. No, okay, no. thank you. Inspires you. Well, I think like each one of us has really different like uh, kind of music yeah. we like. Uh, but uh, for me personally, I would say maybe like Arctic Monkeys, Slaves, Idols. No, like shout from... out Arctic Monkeys. Now, I think you guys had let me know either that some of the was it a song that sounded similar to Arctic Monkeys, or they get. I think one of you guys actually said maybe it was a UK uh, subscriber said that actually this band gives the Arctic Monkeys a bit of a, uh, like a bit of an Arctic Monkeys vibe. Um, and I think listening to Victoria then saying about how that was some of her inspirations in music that you could, you'll, you'll see that I think each one of them, each one of their inspirations or like loved band growing up, you'll see a little bit of influence in all, you know, the group in their songs. I think that's really important. I, I, that's what, that's something that I, I really love to hear is that what, what their influences are. Uh, were when they were making music like starting up because or when they were younger because you can find a lot out about a band or a group or an artist by going to their influences uh or their fat or their um their um their idols uh growing up do you know what i mean so that's i want to know what other uh ethan's and all that else like led zeppelin for yeah, example led zeppelin yeah, yeah great as a group we, we try to take inspiration from the the big bands uh, yeah. oh yeah see see from the 70s uh, mm -hmm. Until now, so Yo, that's it. I said that. I said that. Yeah. yeah, what we think is like, even if maybe some bands like make uh, kind of different rock music compared to us, but it can always like give you inspiration and maybe yeah. some See? like little that's things that maybe you said. wouldn't notice normally. We can like get a lot of inspir inspiration from that. And nice. Victoria, being Danish, I have to ask you, what is your relation to Denmark now? Well, I really love Denmark. Like, uh, I've always like went like from Italy to Denmark every year because all my family is in Denmark, mm -hmm. and uh, I feel like very proud to also like to represent in a way also Denmark with our name and in this competition because it really means a lot to me. Oh, that's nice. I love yeah? that. Yeah, you're definitely starting to spill. What does it mean? See. Oh. 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 I love how, how, how well English they are. Uh, I assume they all speak good English, I'm not too sure. Um, but Victoria speaks brilliant English, uh, I know Dominio. Um, and also the fact that they do their songs, some of their songs in English as well, I think is really cool. Um, one's because it's easy for me to listen to, but two, just the fact that like, not only do they know one language, they know two, and they make songs in both languages. I mean, can you imagine the difficult, the difficulty right there? Not only learning the language, but being confident enough to be able to sing in that. Like, oh my, they, I don't know, I don't know, bro. That's di <laughs> it's difficult. I can imagine doing it. Um, I don't know. I guess the more I listen to these guys, the more I just kind of get into that fanboy sort of uh, stigma. But at the same time, I think it's absolutely right, and I think nobody could. I wouldn't take any sort of insult on this group whatsoever. Like, I, if anybody said, you know. Everybody's entitled to their opinion, but I do feel that everybody is entitled to their opinion. But if you don't like this group, then there is something seriously wrong upstairs. Do you know what I mean? Because it's great. It's a great group and it's real music and talent. And even if it's not your genre, you must still be like, oh, that's good. Just not my genre or something maybe. But you couldn't say, oh, this is a bad group. Not, not even with the personalities that these guys, I think it makes it, really does, I think um, personality makes a group as well. And the reason why I say that is because um, arrogance and music can, can only get you so far. Being humble, a nice person, um, you know, full of love, full of energy, that, in your, that with your music that you make will go further. I swear to God that I believe that's the truth. Last question I want to ask you today. It always seems like either you or Damiano doing all the talking. Ethan and Thomas, are you are you uh, 
just happy with them doing all the talking? <laughs> uh, uh, no, 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 I'm happy to... Thank you, Stas, we can part a little bit. No, um, I'm... Uh, okay, because I'm not very well to the English, and in general I talk a lot, and, but uh, unfortunately I'm not very, very well in English, and so... Oh, it's a bit of It's not me, man. Just trying to avoid, like... Um, messing up too much. Yeah, yeah messing, messing up too much. Messing up too much. <laughs> 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 I'm talk very but in Italy yeah, they do exactly. talk a lot. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they do talk a lot. But yeah. yeah I, I, I think in one, lot, two years, years this problem will be, will be completely solved, yeah. fixed. Yeah. So I'm only asking because when we upload anything with you guys it's like, oh we need Thomas and Ethan more. So yeah. 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 No. yeah. Well, I am giving you all of the best of luck on Saturday from Denmark and Thank we you. hope that Denmark will Thank you. push the way for yeah. you <laughs> winning your twenty twenty one. Let's That's a little corner of a day Yeah, well. exactly. <laughs> Ethan, Thomas, Damiano, Victoria, thank you so much. Thank, thank you, you very much. Thanks. Thank you. Love that. No, I really good. Um, yo, I love that, uh, just to see those guys uh, just kind of answer some questions. It was nice to hear Victoria, actually, a bit of Vic uh, Victoria. I haven't really heard um, uh, as much of her before, like, in like interviews and things like that, so it's actually really interesting to kind of hear hear a lot of her side. Uh, I know she was from Denmark, and I know about the Man of Skin was the moonlight in Denmark, um, but I didn't know about her inspirations in music and things like that. So, um, and then after right after I talked about in, uh, inspirations and idols being an influence on their music, Daminio literally just went out went on to say that. So. You know what I mean? I've got the brains for it, bro. <laughs> but yeah, guys, thank you for watching. I hope you all have an amazing day. And I will see you in the next reaction. This was requested to do a topless vid. Um, don't know why, but I hope you like my nipples. <laughs> I'll see you in a bit. Peace.